And let's take on another trainer filled room. Alright, just checking to see if there's nothing up there. What's cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Let me guess. Jigglypuff. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Wow. Yeah, that's what I thought too when I first read that. Anyway, you die like the rest. Oh, and listen to this. I'm a rambling, gambling nude. Well, in Fire Red and Leaf Green, gambling is considered bad by Game Freak and the Pokemon Corporation. So, it, he's the rambling, gaming... Wow. The emulator freeze had to ruin my joke. He's... So, in Fire Red and Leaf Green, he's the rambling, gaming dude. Yeah. Anyway, we're meeting Mucks and Grimers. Muck, first time we've seen it. Here's uh, four trainers right here. They're all pathetic in their own right. Ooh, okay. Wow, Thunder's try. Okay, and I'm just gonna use up all my Thunder. Or I could lie and use Mega Punches. Okay, and now we're only reduced to a few more trainers. Or just one. There's definitely more trainers uh, in Fire Red and Leaf Green. I remember being there a couple bikers. But oh well, oh, here's another one. And now, with the defeat of the train, it is on to sell it on. Hey, that rhymed. Okay, and here's another underground tunnel. This time, lean from the edge of that route next to Vermilion, where we just were. Under, uh, Saffron again. And now, we are in the most pointless route ever. Right there's the saffron gate, right there, and up here you go straight into Celadon. There's nothing there but a patch of grass. Anyway, quite a few things to do in Celadon. It's a big place, most of the video will probably be left to me exploring it. Maybe finishing off a side quest or two. Well actually, there are no real side quests in Pokemon. Because eventually you'll need to do pretty much everything, except fill out the Pokedex. Book Flute awakens Pokemon only with the sound. That's a useful uh, item that we'll get later. Okay, that's just Pokemon Center. Hey, it's Team Rocket. Yep, Team Rocket's got a hostile takeover take over of Saffron. And they have a base here as well. We'll be, uh, taking that base over soon enough. Okay, and this looks like a Pokemon daycare, no? No. Fantastic duo! What was that noise? Let's try and hear that again. Oh, that's just my emul emulator's horrible sound. That's Pikachu trying to say Pika. You can just barely hear it from under there. Nope, nobody here. I think is this is the building where Game Freak hangs out. Yeah, here's Game Freak. Isn't Erica cute? I like Misty too. Yeah, this guy just has a boner for all the girls. Game designer, yay! I'm not sure what he gives you. I'll try and figure that out by the next part. And here's the roof. There's nothing on the roof. It's just suspended in air. I mean, look at this. It's just suspended in air. Okay. 
enough with that nonsense. As you can see, there's a back room. We'll get to that soon enough. Just checking to see if there's nothing up there. And here's the Pokemart. Or the department store. Game Corner is bad for the city's image. See? Gambling. Gambling. Gambling is bad. Bad for children playing uh, Pokemon games. Alright, you can surf, get across there. A dude will teach you soft boiled. Nothing we need. Okay, is there any buildings we can go into? Team Rocket. I'm not staring at you. Of course I'm not staring at you. There's a basement under the game corner. Hey, thanks for telling us. And this guy's eating all the food because you can't buy anything in the... Oh. Or they're taking a break. Because they had to make so much food. Go to the drugstore. Okay, that's not bad at all. Giving Pokemon drugs. By drugs, they mean vitamins, of course. Anyway, another hint of gambling is bad, so he's gonna give us the coin case. So we can go gamble. And get Pokemon and prizes. That doesn't sound so bad. It only costs a million jillion dollars. Two thousand Pokemon. Wow, way to just tell us. There's a secret switch behind there. Anyway, yeah, Team Rocket's using that uh, game corner as a front to handle Pokemon. Oh, and here's a hotel. Oh, she's on vacation with her boyfriend. Of course you're full up, because I can't stay at a hotel. Why did she bring her brother? Ha 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 ha, that's hilarious. Yeah, I'm on a date with my boyfriend and my- Wait, no. I'm on vacation with my boyfriend and my brother. And there's a PP up here. Well, we're just gonna use that immediately. I never knew that was there. I guess I've never been up this way. Anyway, I'm gonna use that on Thunderbolt. And yeah. Now let's check out the middle of the city. Come on. I always forget which one's which. Okay, and here's the game corner. Here's where you, the prizes section of the game corner. Alright, you can get an Abra, a Vulpix, and a Wigglytuff. And over here, there's Skither, Pinsir, and Porygon. And right here are TMs. Not sure which one's which, but I don't give a care. Alright, yes, so you guys know you can walk around in these tiles. I think you can walk around in these tiles and just get free coins. And these guys also give you free coins. So I'm not sure if you can walk around and check all the tiles for free coins. But either people give you free coins and you don't walk around on the tiles, or they don't give you free coins, and wow, look, this is the dude from the Pokemon Center, I mean the Pokemon Gym, she's not a, he's not allowed in because it's a girls only gym, yeah, that's something that will be made abundantly clear. Yeah, the machines do have different odds. Alright. This is... And she just talks to us, and this is where you can buy coins in increments of 100, and, or 50 for 1,000, or 500 for 10,000. Anyway, in the next part, we'll be storming Team Rocket's base.